15 things you didn't know about human teeth. Besides making us look aesthetically pleasing and allowing us to eat, they may be small, but they sure do have a big job. Teeth just don't get the love they're supposed to, whether caring for them or appreciating everything they do for us. Here's a look at some interesting things you might not know about them. Welcome to Tal's Hammock. I'm Olivia with Hindered Thoughts, and I'll be your guest host for today. More on that later. For now, let's get into the video. 15. Early warning sign. It's always important to be aware of your oral health, because if you don't know what's going on in your mouth, something could be seriously wrong and you'd be none the wiser. If you're not brushing and flossing like your dentist tells you to, then you're putting other parts of your body at risk. Infections, tooth decay, and other dental problems are linked to developing health risks, such as diabetes, heart disease, and even strokes. It's believed the state of your oral health determines your overall health. So brush twice a day, floss at least once a day, and visit your dentist for routine checkups. They're trained to look for things you might not be able to identify yourself. 14. Spit, don't rinse. Dentists advise don't swallow your toothpaste. So place only a pea-sized amount is to lessen the chances and obviously spit it out. This is geared more towards children who don't know any better and can potentially harm themselves by accident. After spitting, most people rinse out their mouth. But dentists are saying there's really no need. See, the longer the fluoride from your toothpaste can sit on your teeth, the better it will work at fighting off tooth decay and plaque. 13. Truth about toothpaste. Toothpaste today has sure come a long way, since it was first made and placed back in jars in 1873. Before that, people would use ground chalk mixtures or charcoal to brush their teeth. Now, toothpaste has its own special type of formula, but the most talked about ingredient is fluoride. In small amounts, fluoride is beneficial for the health of your teeth, as it can help prevent and reverse the early stages of tooth decay by speeding up remineralization of the enamel. However, like everything else, too much of a good thing is not good. If large amounts of fluoride are consumed, fluoride toxicity can occur and will prove to be fatal if not treated immediately. Number 12. Famous teeth. Sometimes the teeth of celebrities that have long been gone don't tend to stay in their rightful place. Perhaps one of the more recent examples of that is John Lennon. It was back in 2011 when a Canadian dentist traveled all the way to London in the UK to attend an auction. Dr. Michael Zuck was successful in acquiring what he went for overseas, John Lennon's tooth purchased for a staggering 36,857 US dollars, making it the most expensive tooth ever sold. Dr. Zuck hopes to one day create a clone of Lennon from his lone tooth. And the second most expensive tooth ever sold belonged to Sir Isaac Newton himself, sold for $35,700. 11. Harmful Snacking Apparently eating three square meals a day doesn't just support your dietary needs, but also helps contribute to how healthy your teeth are. It's been observed that frequently snacking on potato chips and slurping sugary sodas throughout the day can cause more harm to your teeth than eating large meals. This is because the more you eat, the more individual acid attacks your teeth will have to defend themselves against. As plaque develops and spreads, it will release an acid substance that eats away at your teeth. If left untreated, teeth will develop soft spots, and those will eventually form into holes. Enjoy snacking in moderation to avoid all this. 10. Tooth bank. Most people think of the word money as being closely associated with the word bank. But there are other types of banks, like blood banks or sperm banks. But have you ever heard of a tooth bank? Located in Norway, the Mobatan, or Mobatooth, is a bank that had more than 100,000 pregnant women participate in their study and follow their children's early childhood. The bank collected up to 28,272 baby teeth in order to study the relationship between how environmental pollution can affect the health of children. This is because baby teeth can reveal information about nutrition during the child's fetal and early childhood, as well as environmental factors. 9. Missing teeth. Our genes are responsible for dictating the outcome of our appearance, and sometimes things don't always go 100% according to plan. The average adult will have a set of 32 permanent teeth. That includes the third molars, or wisdom teeth. Individuals who are born with tooth agenesis, or hyperdontia, will end up missing one or more teeth due to the fact that these teeth never actually developed. The most common case seen is 9-35% to of patients who never needed to have their wisdom teeth removed because they didn't have them in the first place. There's also anodontia, which is an incredibly rare condition where the afflicted is missing all of their teeth. 8. The Growth Period Evolution has graced us with not just one, but two sets of teeth, recognized respectively as our primary and our permanent. Primary teeth begin to erupt from the gums at around the ages of six to seven months, and typically at the age of three, all primary teeth should have emerged. Adult teeth don't begin to replace baby teeth until the age of six, where the mouth contains a mixture of primary and permanent teeth for the next several years. By the age of 12, all adult teeth should be present, besides the wisdom teeth that may or may not form around age 18 to 25. Did you know there's 20 primary teeth, and on average, 32 permanent teeth? 
Seven, the cost. For those of you who don't currently handle your own finances, consider this your wake-up call. Teeth are pricey, and the sooner you start really taking care of them, the more money you could potentially save, and everyone loves saving money. For instance, without insurance, the average teeth cleaning will cost around $82 for adults. And if you don't have the straightest teeth and want to get them fixed, braces without insurance on average is between $3,000 and $7,000. And for those individuals who would rather opt for Invisalign, they'll cost a little more than braces, starting at $3,000. 800 to 4800 The price of cavities that need to get filled depends on the type of resin, either metal or tooth colored, the number of cavities, and whether or not you have insurance. 6. Different beauty norms. Western beauty standards and Eurocentric beauty standards are thrust out into the world where they can have severely damaging effects on how people view their worth based on their looks. In places like North America, having perfectly straight teeth that shine brighter than a diamond is viewed as the standard norm that everyone should strive to achieve. This is due to the media shoving ads of celebrity smiles in your face everywhere you turn. However, not every culture views straight teeth as something to be desired. In Japan, there are women who get crooked veneers to cover up their straight smiles. It's seen as something cute and not at all an imperfection, something that Japanese men find attractive. 5. A tooth's best friend. No, we're not talking about your toothbrush here. That'd be more like your tooth's close friend. Saliva happens to be best buds with your teeth due to the fact that it serves as a protective function. Though, this is not an excuse to stop brushing and flossing. The saliva in your mouth helps protect your teeth from developing dental plaque which causes cavities and gum disease, and the excess buildup of food particles by washing them away. The average person in good health will make 0.75 to 1.5 liters of saliva a day. That means in their lifetime, a healthy person is able to secrete enough saliva to fill up two swimming pools. Some people suffer from a condition known as xerostomia, where a person's saliva production is decreased and makes the individual more prone to catching dental diseases. 4. Unique teeth. Much like a person's fingerprints, your teeth are unique to you and you alone. And yes, that includes identical twins. Because your teeth are determined not only by your genes, but by outside forces after you're born. A good example of this is one twin who sucks their thumb will have a completely different set of teeth than their non-thumb-sucking sibling. If the dentition of your teeth, or the way that they're arranged, was to be measured, you'd find that your teeth each have a specific distance from each other, a specific placement, and a specific size that makes them one of a kind. This is what allows forensic dentists to be able to identify a criminal or a victim through x-rays or teeth impressions. Fun fact, your tongue print is also unique to you. 3. Long way from home. Teeth are, of course, heavily associated with the mouth, as that's where they're supposed to form, but development varies from person to person, and things can get mixed up. Instead of being attached to the jaw like they're supposed to be, teeth can stray off and form in the most peculiar places. Some of these places include the floor of the mouth and the roof of the mouth and even in the pharynx, which is defined as the membrane-lined cavity behind the nose and mouth. In even rarer instances, teeth can form on your organs as tumors called teratomas. That can also contain hair tissue. These teratomas are capable of forming on your nose, eyes, tongue, neck, and even your brain. Number two, they're irreparable. There's no doubt the human body is capable of carrying out some amazing feats, but there's only so much it can do before it reaches its limit. Our bodies are able to regenerate themselves to a degree, to the point where a small cut vanishes in a week's time and organs can heal themselves. Unfortunately, teeth are the only things about us that are unable to repair themselves. The reason for this is because unlike the rest of our bodies, teeth have a thin outer layer called enamel which isn't made up of living tissue. If a tooth ends up becoming damaged by infections, cavities, or trauma, they can usually be repaired, but only by having a veneer or dental bonding placed over the area. Number one, the hardest substance. Most people would be quick to say, your bones, when asked what's the strongest substance in the human body, but it's actually your teeth. And no, it's not the same thing. This is because human teeth, as mentioned, are coated with the outer layer known as enamel. An inside look at enamel shows us it's made up of 96% minerals and the other 4% water. Just like your bones, enamel mostly contains calcium and phosphate, except there are specific proteins and crystallites that make it stronger than bones. It's what keeps our teeth from breaking down as we chew our food. Enamel can be viewed as a bit of a double-edged sword, because even though it's very strong, it's also more brittle than the rest of the tooth's anatomy and susceptible to breaking off easily. Thanks for watching our video. If you like this, find more content like it on my channel, Hindered Thoughts. See you there.